NASA is getting ready for the Orion spacecraft to splash down on Sunday. At first, Orion was going to come down off the coast of San Diego, but the storm system heading this way pushed the splash zone south off Baja, California. But as CBS 8's Kirsten Holmes found out, it's still going to be an out of this world experience. She joins us live now with more. Kirsten. That's right. We are here at the Air and Space Museum where they're going to have a watch party for that splashdown on Sunday. Now, that watch party is not open to the public, but you can watch it live online. And before you get ready to pop open that laptop, we had to come here and get the lowdown on the splashdown because NASA says we haven't been to the moon in 50 years and we are on our way back. Uh, at present, we are on track to have a fully successful mission with some bonus objectives that we've uh, achieved along the way. That's the latest from NASA officials as the Artemis 1 Orion capsule is slated to land in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Baja, California on Sunday between 9.30 and 9.50 a.m. our time. This is the actual Apollo 9 command module, one of only 11 on display in the world. And it's basically the 50-year-old version of what we're going to see splash down off the coast of Baja on Sunday. David Neville with the San Diego Air and Space Museum says this is a pretty big deal. Artemis is the next step. Artemis was actually Apollo's twin sister. And so this is the next step to go back to the moon. Yep, the moon. But it doesn't stop there. NASA scientists have goals. We'll have inhabitants on the moon by the 2030s. I don't think people living there, but I think we'll have a permanent presence there. Sound too good to be true? They've been working on this for a while. David brings us all up to speed. Supposedly on the south and the north poles, there's quite a bit of ice in craters that haven't been exposed to the sun. And ice means water, and water on the moon could mean... Keep us there longer, be able to create oxygen, and eventually be able to create fuel. One of the primary objectives for this particular mission was to make sure that the heat shield performs correctly. So everything else has gone perfect up to this point. NASA launched the Artemis 1 moon rocket on November 16th. 50 years after the first trip to the moon with the Apollo program. This new unmanned capsule, unless you count the mannequins, brings the United States one step closer to landing on the moon for the first time in decades. But first, David says... Now, two big tests, the heat shield and then the recovery team. That heat shield should reach 5,000 degrees. That is twice the temperature of molten lava after it comes back into Earth's atmosphere. After that, some parachutes are going to deploy and then it'll hit 20 miles per hour when it hits the water. After that, NASA is going to study it before trying to send a crew on the next mission. We'll be watching for that. Reporting live for CBS 8, I'm Kirsten Holmes. Back to you.